Welcome to the AH-64D basic training plane. Take off from a hover and transition into flight. You start this flight on the helicopter ramp of Ustaisa Air Base. The helicopter engines are on, all displays and IHADSS are on. This training will be performed from the pilot's rear position. Unless otherwise indicated, most highlighted button presses and spacebar presses will immediately forward the lesson to the next step. On your first time through the training, it is recommended that you listen fully to each set of instructions before taking action that will move the lesson forward. When ready to continue, press the spacebar. You will be using the IHADSS Home Display Unit HDU, throughout this lesson. The flight begins with the HDU showing the hover symbology. The other HDU symbology you will use is transition. A single upward push of the symbology select switch SSS, will change the HDU from hover to transition. A single push downward of the SSS will return it to hover. Practice switching between the two modes. Since you will be taxiing to begin this flight, you use the transition symbology, which provides a horizon line. This gives you a ready reference of roll attitude, helpful for keeping the Apache upright during taxiing. Set transition mode with the SSS. When you're ready to continue, press the space bar. Release the park brake handle under the front console. Tail wheel is unlocked when taxiing to allow turns. Currently, the tail wheel is locked. The enhanced upfront display EUFD shows tail wheel lock select. As you begin the taxi roll, you will use the tail wheel unlock lock button on the collective to unlock the tail wheel. Practice unlocking the tail wheel now using this method. See the EUFD change to tail wheel unlock select. Set the tail wheel back to lock, then press the space bar when ready to continue. You are now ready to begin the taxi. You will taxi forward out of your spot, then turn left and taxi towards the pad. To do this, you will increase the collective to 30% torque prior to applying forward cyclic to initiate forward taxi. With forward motion established, unlock the tailwheel and maintain heading with the pedals. Maintain the aircraft in level roll with left-right cycling. During turns, apply pedal in direction of turn and maintain a constant rate of turn. Apply cyclic in the direction of the turn to maintain the aircraft level in roll. Maintain 5 to 6 knots ground speed. When ready, start taxi. As you approach the takeoff pad, lock the tail wheel. 
apply cyclic to bring the aircraft to a stop. Select hover symbology by pressing the SSS down. Press the space bar when ready to continue. The next part will require your full attention to flying the aircraft. The basic procedures and HDU symbology to aid you will be covered, starting with hovering, then transitioning to forward flight. Before you can begin, it is important to understand the HDU hovering symbology. This graphic depicts the HDU hover mode in flight. The center of the line of sight rectum represents the center of the helicopter in a top-down view. Up on the display is forward. The acceleration cue can be thought of as a representation of the cyclic position as you move it. Up is forward pitch, down is aft pitch. Left and right, left and right roll. The velocity vector represents the velocity and direction of the aircraft's movement. To control the helicopter in a hover, you use the cyclic to place the acceleration cue in the desired location and allow the velocity vector to catch up. Press the spacebar to continue. Hovering. The goal is to bring the aircraft to a 5-foot stationary hover. However, for this initial training flight, anything between 5 feet to 25 feet above ground level is acceptable. Smoothly increase the collective while attempting to maintain the acceleration cue in the center of the line of sight reticle. You should begin to lift off at about 69% torque. To maintain a stable hover, attempt to maintain the acceleration cue in the center of the line of sight reticle with the cyclic and adjust the collective to maintain a constant altitude. Use the pedals to keep a steady heading. Press the spacebar to continue. Transition. From a stable hover, apply forward cyclic to level the wings and apply a minimum of 10% above hover power not to exceed a maximum continuous torque of 100% with the collective. Maintain ground track alignment with the takeoff direction using the pedals while accelerating the aircraft. Select transition symbology by pressing up on the SSS when the velocity vector reaches the top of the HDU display. Adjust for a 500 foot per minute rate of climb and for 90 knots. We're ready to continue and attempt the hover to transition. Press the space bar and good luck. You are now transitioning to level flight. When reaching 300 feet AGL, adjust the collective for level flight. Continue to accelerate to 90 knots.
this point you have taken off and are flying. This completes the train flight. Press escape to end the lesson.